So up to now, we've applied dynamics to the cape to give it much more of a natural shape and flow. Plus we've got the flexibility of the animation in there if we want to use motion blur or do we want to experiment with a few different poses or from the wind coming from different directions. We've also added in hair to the scene and we've also done the same with that, adjusted its properties uh, and the look and the feel of it just so it flows in a nice way and we've got sort of a nice result uh, from that. So I guess we're probably at the end of the tutorial, aren't we now? Because looking at the scene, we should be able to just render her out and it's done. So let's just look at a render and see where we're at. This is one I've just rendered out. <clears throat> now straight away, we've got some major issues with the hair. In the Maya scene, it looks fine and she's got a nice full head of hair, but in the actual render, it's quite thin and wispy. Uh, it's almost not there at all. So let's address that now. We just need to change a few render settings uh, just to thicken the hair up. So let's select the hair and let's just work our way down and just gradually adjust things as they crop up. So first of all, hairs per clump. Now if we bring back the render, I'll just move this over now obviously if we've only got 10 hairs for each clump that's on her head it's not going to be very thick and that's probably why it's looking so fail, uh, frail and wispy so let's just ramp that up to 50 let's just minimize this so because it'll update in the scene as well so we turn that up to 50 and you can see in here I just click select that has thickened up the hair in here as well now obviously this is going to have an impact on the simulation itself but luckily we have a display quality tab here and we can drop that back down just so if we, if we click play it's not going to slow the scene down too much. So we can adjust this however we want to sort of counterbalance what we're adding in here. So moving a bit further down, let's skip ahead to hair width and this is go again, the hair's quite frail so we maybe want to thicken up each hair. We'll just maybe double that just so each hair is twice as thick. And then moving down, if we wanted to we could uh, adjust the graph here so the hairs may be thicker at the root and thinner at the end so we could make that taper right off to nothing. Maybe pull that back so it starts off thick and then just quickly sort of uh, thins out towards the end or we'll maybe have that towards the middle so it's not as severe we'll just keep moving down and obviously we have our shading tab and in here this is going to control the color the specularity the translucence you know all these obvious things here if we open up this tab as well we can see we have a hair color scale here. Now these aren't the default values for some reason. Um, I'll just add in, I think the default values are something like that starts off darker at the root and then it gradually gets lighter. Something like that. So you're probably looking at something a bit more like that. Just drop that one down a bit as well. But we'll come to that later anyway. Let's just skip this. We're not going to look at the colour color just yet. We're just looking at thickening up the hair. So let's just see where we were. We've added more hair. We've thickened up the hair. Let's see what else there is. If we come down here, there's this tab here called Multi Streaks. Now what this will do is just multiply uh, the streaks of hair. So if we add two multi streaks in there let's just see how the hair is looking now that we've added those few simple bits in so we'll save this render and what I'll do is you can see the render time is a minute and a half so I'll pause the video while I do the next render so that's the new render and as you can see obviously the hair has thickened up quite a lot just by editing those values and the render times also increased slightly too if I just compare before, after, so there we've just we fixed those initial errors. Um, and just going back over it, 
what I should have done is also increased, increased the sub-segments a couple just to obviously smooth out the hair a little bit more as we've got it, it's looking a little bit rigid at the front here. So you can continue to tweak those just to balance out the thickness, also editing the graphs to get the exact look that you're after. Now the next thing that we obviously need to fix is the colour of the hair and the actual the actual look and feel of the material of the hair. I drop this back down and this is where we scroll all the way back down to our actually let's go to multi streaks. I'm going to drop that down to one because as you can see here we have it's looking quite linear and that can often be uh, an effect of the multi streaks. But getting sidetracked anyway. So let's now jump into our shading menu.